Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel, Hoop Hildenbrand Guitar Academia. Today we have lesson two on the series of, um, of um, lessons um, where we go more deeper into the world of the Turkish Makam. And in this series we will explore, um, we take actually these basic tetra and pentachords and we look at, at each of them, um, how they actually um, get extended to become a makam. So today we will talk about ushak. And ushak is a tetrachord. It's a tetrachord, it's like a minor tetrachord um, with a lowered second degree. And um, we will we will we will take a look how um, how this tetrachord um, like the most how do you say the most natural way how we how we extend this this tetrachord and I I, um, I do not want to repeat myself too much so please uh, please uh, go back to this uh, first lesson of this series uh, where we talked about rust because um, actually. Um, I, I explained a lot of stuff in, in that lesson, so um, I do, as I said, I, I do not really want to repeat myself too much to, um, in, in that lesson now. I, actually, in this lesson now about Ushak, uh, I want to go more into the practical, um, the practical uh, things, how to, um, I, have, I have a lot of like, like phrases also, you can, you can practice on the guitar, on your instrument um, to get this sound. And there's also this PDF down in the description below. You, you really should download. I mean, it helps to support this channel. It supports this channel, of course. But it's also, um, there's also stuff written on it like Ekshik, Ferrach, uh, and Sega, and Ushak, and, uh, and every, like, like, like different ways. This Makam is actually uh, really likes, likes to, to behave like stations. It, it likes to approach when, when you when you improvise or when you compose in the in the makam makam ushak um, and this is very 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 much related to to the last lesson to rust actually and i i do not really want to want to want to spend too much time about that um, with that because if you take ushak ushak we also again we we we, we take uh, E is our karar, is our root, and we take ushak, and we take this this lower major third, then it's very very much connected to. We talk, talked about E rust. Now, if you compare, if you transpose the the, uh, the the E rust, what we talked about last lesson, to D, so one step lower, then you easily see all these these, these relationships here. And um, so also um, also like like um, like Ushak is is Yerinde on 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 A, yeah, Yerinde, So its place, it's A. And we talked about that in, la in the last lesson. So go back if you don't know what, what is Yerinde. It's important also. Um, and Yerinde Ushak is, is, is A. And Yerinde Rust is G. So that's already the relationship. On, on G you have Rust. Same scale, same notes. You go to A. You, you don't change the, the lowered uh, B. Then you have Ushak on, on, on A. And then also if you go one step even higher to the lowered B, you have Sega. And that Yerinde Sega is also like, uh, yeah, is, is that note. So these, these, these three, actually these three Tetra chords and also Makams, they are really uh, connected. 
Okay, you see, like, like this is all, all written, written down in the, the PDF. This how how these different other uh, um, penta and tetra chords, uh, which are approached um, naturally in a, in a way in this makam. This is all on the PDF. So I, I, I do not really want to go uh, really, really into that. Instead, I really want to want to want to go into the sound of, of, of the Ushak and mainly now in the Ushak uh, Tetra chord, because this is you can say it's also a kind of the, the heart, the heart of Turkish folk music. If you have Turkish folk music, you also have this this Ushak very much. Also, you have um, also with Ushak very, very strongly, uh, you can't actually separate separate this completely you have Husseini Husseini is also has also the same notes as Ushak but has an added perfect fifths and um, you might think okay when you just add a perfect fifth why this has already a complete new name because when we talked about tetrachord rust and pentachord rust it's it's both rust and it's just one is a tetra and one is a pentachord actually by when you say Ushak, then it's really like E, this lowered F sharp, then G and A. And A is a very, 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 very important note. It's also like Gütschlü, and you say you take actually from A in, in, in E Ushak, you say like you, you take like Busolik, um, pentachord. Yeah, so you always show this also. Also written there, this 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 extension. One one is if you go higher um, above the octave of E, you can show Ushak. That's a lowered um, F sharp, and you can also have this non-symmetrical extensions. That's Kurdi. That's a Phrygian sound, which is on the page on, on the on the bottom. Okay. Um, yeah, I assume that you actually um, understand what I'm talking about because I already put out all these lessons on Turkish makam music about the, the, the basics, also the basic like all these tetra and pentachords and also the last lesson I went more into this, this yerinde and extension and, and, and so on. So um, it might take some time, some, some practice of course, but, but also some time to, to really understand that. But I, I really tried... I have I have the kind of the whole picture in my my head that I'm I know what I already said and I do not want to repeat myself too much. At, at the end, like all these these different lessons which I put out on here on, on Guitar Academia, they actually they they will work together and, and I, I will explain a certain thing in one lesson and 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 I will just hint at some other things how it how it is connected to the other topics and then there is a is another lesson for for all these other topics which are important here okay anyway i talk i talk and talk uh, okay i will i will play now a bit more no actually i i i um i uh wanted to tell you some some more about like ushak and husseini when you have husseini um, from E, and it's actually the same as Ushak, but you go to B, yeah, and on B you 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 show actually um, in Husseini when you are on B on the fifth you say you show Ushak, yeah, on. So you, you always show, show Ushak on B and Husseini on, on E. And as I said, Husseini is just like, like Ushak, um, tetrachord plus 
um, this B here, this perfect fifth, which is 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 is, is most most important. It's a, like literally the most important note actually in in Husseini. Then, um, why there are these two? Uh, why you once one time you say Ushak and one time and another time you say Husseini? Actually, it's a very different. It's a de very different. Um, quality if you either have like the the perfect fifth or the perfect fourth as your like like framework okay? you have like framework um, one or framework two here and this also will affect actually the the intonation of the bit lowered major second because if you if you have the the a here your major second tends to go more a little bit more into the into this sorry um, into this this is the 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 pure major third so according to the harmonic series this is like it's a pure interval so your your actually your major your lowered major second. I mean, that's a bit my theory. Maybe that's that's. Um, I think, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe if you're really into that music, you think, oh no, it's, it's completely wrong. I don't know. Um, so this lowered major second here in in, in in Ushak tends to go more. Tends to go more. In the direction of tends to go a bit lower because it it it, it wants to wants to uh, sound nice together with the with the A because the A is the most important the strongest note besides the root of course. And when you have Husseini, you want this note. You hear when I. This, this, this lower is maybe an Ushak, and I play now the B. It sounds very bad actually if I when I play these notes together. So I actually I I wanna wanna bring this 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 this, this major third this lowered major third a bit bit higher to to come more close to this um, harmonic. Uh, relationship which which is more more stable more pure in a way so you can you can say that the, the husseini major second and, and also the whole construction of, of 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 having like framework one here is um, a bit brighter it's a bit brighter sound than having like framework two together with a bit bit even lowered um lowered major second so that's so it's it's in a way it's really like it's not it's not the same Ushak and Husseini just adding this perfect fifth to Ushak doesn't really make make Ushak Husseini it's really also the kind of course the kind of character uh, uh, feel atmosphere but this also has to do with with a major um, with a lowered major second, which is in Husseini tends to be a bit higher than in, in Ushak. Yeah, Ushak really sometimes really really enjoys to have a very low major second, which is like almost a, a, a bit bit too high uh, minor second. Yeah. Um, and when I had lessons from um, Nuri Karadimirli, this uh, Ud master, I, I've been to his. Um, I, I yeah, I had lessons for maybe about two years, and there, there he actually he told me, don't take this note too serious. Actually, his words were like, don't take the, the intervals K and S too serious because K is the interval from from um, is like eight microtones from from from. Uh, E to a lower lower F sharp and S oops S to to G um, this is like five microtones uh, to this uh, lowered F sharp to G and um, our in 
our Western uh, system, um, this 12 tone equal temperament, we deal more with T and B. And T is like a whole step, which is nine, nine uh, microtones. It's a bit, very tiny bit, two, 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 uh, too large a uh, whole step in comparison with a 12 tone equal temperament with our Western system. And, um, and B is like four uh, microtones, which is a little bit lower, uh, a little bit smaller uh, version of the, the uh, equal temperament half step. But it's, these, these are almost, you can say like, like T, T, B is like um, whole step, uh, half step in the Turkish classical music. Is like almost almost the same um, as as um, in the in the Western music. So you you uh, there are people who say you it's the same. You 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 don't you don't um, you don't uh, think about that. You just play the, the normal equal temperament, the twelve tone equal temperament, and then you have it. Actually, I do not really think so. I think these slight uh, differences are really make 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 a make a huge difference, and. Um, but at least it's, it's, it's good to know them. It's good to know that, that some, some intervals are basically the same as in the Western uh, harmony, Western 12 tone equal temperament, but to know ah, they're, they're just a little bit different. And, and once you know that, you can, you can just, sometimes when you play, you hear, oh, maybe I, I put it a little bit higher because you know that they are a little bit higher in the Turkish um, makam system. And for me, actually, this, this, this Turkish uh, makam, uh, I mean, the Turkish, uh, the tonal system of the Turkish classical music is actually more connected with, with the natural, with, with nature, with the, the harmonic series and these things. The, the, actually, they are more like more beautiful, um, intervals our our like western harmony uh, or 12 tone equal temperament is quite harsh in a way if, if you if you compare it directly yeah and uh, of course i mean the, the idea of this i don't have to tell you i mean the the idea of the 12 tone harm, um, equal temperament is to to modulate freely through through the whole uh, through all keys at any time and that's cool yeah, yeah it's really great to do in all this classical music and jazz and, and whatever it's all based on that and that's that's a really really great thing <clears throat> but when you really take your time and really listen to the major third or the major sevens or the minor sevens and and these intervals are about the different on, on the different variations of the second of the major second or the minor second you have in in in, in the turkish um, tonal system of 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 dividing the octave into um, 53 uh, equal parts there are such such beautiful sounds which which really you just have to play this interval and and uh, or this maybe lowered or raised little uh, note and it 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 it, it, it opens a, a completely different world of sound and that's really amazing and so so I take these 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 little these discrepancies this discrepancies. Well, I don't know how to say that. So these minute differences in intonation of the Turkish music and the, the Western 12 tone equal temperament, I take it very serious and I really see, oh, okay, it's the same note, but in, in the Turkish um, Turkish temperament, there this, this note is just a little bit higher. The major second is actually a bit higher. So I go for that and I, I try to, um, Try to, uh, yeah, I try to uh, correct a little bit my, my intonation or I, I bend the string a little bit in the, that direction or I, I press it a bit harder. Mm. And yeah, and that way coming more close to like, like nature in a way, because also in, in the harmonic series, you have the, the, the ninth partial is actually the, the major second or the, the major ninth. Um, which is just like above about like four cent, just a little bit higher. So, yeah. Okay, so this is a, a long side journey we just did. Let's go to the next page. E Ushak fragments to practice. I want to go through that. 
and um, give you some some uh, um, melodic fragments uh, at hand that you can you can practice uh, this this yourself actually also you can maybe practice it together with me playing it now here in, in the video um, yeah whatever so you, you you just have some some nice nice fragments to practice <laughs> okay so I I played it and maybe also it gets gets in you you get inspired also to 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 go more for for these uh, these notes and Ushak is really like a very very typical like Turkish folk uh, uh, used in, in Turkish folk music and also it's very like uh, it's something which is not Western in a way at all because we have just either Phrygian or minor so we have a we start our kind of a minor scale either with a major second or in Phrygian with a minor with a minor second and Ushak is right in between so it's also in Turkish makam music you also have minor you have busalik you have Phrygian, you have it's Kurdi, Kurdi, but yeah, Ushak is something different. It has a different name. It's really like you, you, yeah. What what you can do sometimes is you can you can in a way you can fake it a little bit by um, going up with F sharp and then going down. Yeah, that's something that's some 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 way of, of playing that um, without uh, working hard so just with a plain notes because that's also uh, good that I um, think about that here that's also something very important this as I said this intonation of this major third which is lowered is not um, it's it has a range depending on the expression, on the tune, on, 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 on whatever, the mood, um, what exact notation you play that. And in addition to that, um, it is very, it's also in the first line actually, this is the first example um, there, I, I show that, I will show that, that when it goes up it, it's nice to have it a little bit higher intonation yeah it's going up and when it's going down First example is like yeah, so that's something and it's very interesting actually how how this intonation of, of this, this this major second of this lower ma major second um, makes such a huge inf in, in a uh, huge difference in, in mood you know I mean if you do like or you do that's very low actually <laughs> maybe maybe too low but but it's yeah, but the mood is, 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 is just changed like dramatically, I think, just, just by, by lowering the pitch a little bit. And that's the, really the interesting, the cool thing here with these microtones and uh, to really go for these intonations and create this different, different worlds, uh, different atmospheres. It's really like, like, a, like a very emotional thing. Okay, let's go to the next line. Next. Mm -hmm. 
next would be again I can I can do that a bit higher oh. and then very similar to the third line so we can also um, alternate between let's do that and remember the a the a is really like the the, the good tree the dominant note so when we when we play that that's really Ushak. Otherwise, when we don't show this A, yeah, of course we can we can we can hint at Ushak in a way that we say, um, okay, the, the, the as we as we said, the, the major second is even a little bit lower, so it can only be Ushak and not Husseini. But you can also say it's like Chesney, Chesney Ushak. And that means we do not show like the A or the B even, we just show like with, with a lot of these, these, these patterns, it's just, um, yeah, it's, it's just E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E. So we do not really show like a complete tetra or penta or even like a, a whole scale. We just show like three notes and that is also called chesney. It's just uh, chesney or ch Chesney, Chesney, I, I don't know, I don't know how, to, how to say it actually, but um, it's just the, the taste, the, the, the smell, the, the, the kind of character uh, of that um, tetra pentachord or makam. It's just a little, um, yeah, it's just these starting notes, they already give you this feeling, this taste, the smell, so that's, that's Chesney. Okay, uh, we go on with a... Next line, there we have a strong A, so that's really Ushak here. Um. another technique we already talked about that also in, in some previous lessons but I, I show you I show this again here so we uh, we bend the string with our first finger uh, fourth finger like F sharp very quick or not too quick actually I, I told you that in, in the upward move, movement um, this F sharp can be a little higher to just play tempered way is actually too high but Anyway, it's 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 okay in this in this uh, in this situation to just for a short time to use this this uh, e uh, yeah uh, like like the Western F sharp um, and bend it like yeah to the to the G so one and two and and then we do we play it again on the one. It's in, in brackets because it's not played, it's, it's bended. And we, we, uh, we do a pull off. A is like up here, is like pull off. So we, we actually do that. 
And then we already have this lowered F sharp. <laughs> Can do we can go even a bit lower because it also wants to go down so we do this Some, some more pages here. Um, I did not yet put it in the um, like PDF in the um, final file, but maybe I will. I, I just um, I just show you what's 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 um, what's there. It's like also uh, like some some fragments in in e Ushak, um, which are a bit more elaborate. So it's like um Actually, quite quite a, a journey or quite like like exploration to 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 play all these these microtones on the guitar on the fretted guitar and bending the strings. Um, it's it's really like uh, always when I, when I'm doing that, I, I I will explore something different, and sometimes um, I find out that actually some some things about the the, the guitar and this bending technique actually work. It's not only like a lot of work. Some some things are also like uh, of the instrument. Some features which which uh, which actually make things a bit easier. For example, this this idea of um, of um, release bend. You know, if you do this like, a, and then you do like, and then you you let it just fall. Yeah, this. It's really very very easy a very easy technique and and i don't have to do i have to, I, I just have to release like like work you know like like muscle work so um and that's it's also when i do that yeah i have this very quick going to a much too low uh, or to, to almost a, a minor second here but very quick just just very quick in between and this is very very easy to play once I I, I have I have this note yeah so yeah but and this is sounding very nice and this is really working on on the instrument it's really it was like a kind of really like like um, when I discovered that I was really uh, happy. <laughs> All right, so next, next fragment here. Yeah, that's actually just, just the first fragment is already working quite nice. Sega, this and in Saba, this is a phrase. But anyway, we'll talk about Ushak. So. And this quick thing, it's 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 quick like normal intonation of, of, of F sharp is okay, but of course later on I or immediately I have to show the lowered major second, otherwise um, this is Bushalik actually what I'm just doing here. Okay, so I have um, oh. ah, so 
sorry, it's a bit different here. Um, <laughs> And um, also um, notice the, 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 the notation here. Also, there is also um, on, on the Guitar Academia page on my website, hupildenbrand.com, there's also um, a legend, which is for free, like a PDF. Uh, um, and there also you see like all these different ways of, of, of notation of these microtones and these half kind of bands and, and, and so on. So um, you see this Z there, it's, it's for bending, and then you see this is underlined. It means you actually play play a half step lower. You 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 play actually an F, but you but it's it's bended to that note. Okay, one more time. This phrase. Has nothing to do now with 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 Ushak, of course, but in the context, um, it's 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 like going to do Busilik to A minor. Yeah, so um, the whole thing. I play the whole thing here. Yes, it all belongs together. <laughs> And also this, this Makam Ushak really likes to, to be around the Karar, about the lower octave um, uh, root. Yeah, it's also Chikichi. That means it's, it's, uh, the, the, um, it means there it has it, it's kind of a place where it always tends to go. So more in the lower octave, more in the lower region, not too much uh, going, going upwards. Okay, there's another thing here. Well, this we already had. Oh, yeah, this is, this is like, so it has to, it, it likes more the lower notes, the, um, maybe to go more, more downward and doesn't really like the, the very high notes too much. Okay, um, then there is another fragment which I, which I also uh, w I was very happy when I discovered that. It, um, there is this uh, Armenian duduk tradition. And when I played, when I found out about this fragment, I immediately thought about this, this duduk thing. It's going like what I'm, I'm doing actually, I'm playing this lowered um, F sharp release it and hammer on hammer on to A and play this A with a vibrato Duduk music, I think you you will uh, uh, you will notice this. This is like a very typical thing. Also, this kind of 
this this vibrato you always see the, the whole mouth with a, a, a really like like moving a lot to to get this That's it for the lesson. Um, please, please go to down the description below and download the PDF because, as I as I said in the beginning, there is some stuff um, written with like Ferachnack and Sega and and to really get this complete um, picture here about um, with Ushak, it would be great to to just also get these informations for 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 yourself because that's maybe more of this this complete uh, version we talked more about like very briefly about like like what what ushak likes to do that it's likes to go to this a busalik thing and um but there's a bit bit more more about that but basically what i what i played here this ushak tetrachord and then uh, like like emphasizing this this a the force is really this this ushak um essence all right and next lesson we will go on with the next makam we will take this like this will be a longer journey now this is the second lesson before we had rust and please uh, don't forget if you like these lessons here on guitar academia please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click the bell button because then you also get notifications when a new video will be released which is the case like every week and also there's a possibility down in the description below you can go to the link whopildenbrand.com the guitar academia page there there's a button where you can also donate to support um, this channel here that it will go on and i have food and i can eat and drink and make a lot of more more many more videos for you this would be great huh all right Thanks for watching. My name is Hupildenbrand.